What's up everybody, Superbooks fan here and uh, today I'm doing a quick drive video of the Dodge Challenger Hellcat with the manual and this is a 2016 by the way. I reviewed of course the 2015 Hellcat Automatic uh, Challenger and that was a ton of fun of course. But a lot of you were interested to hear my thoughts on the manual transmission in the uh, Challenger and so we'll just get right to it. The first thing that I noticed here is uh, this shifter is really a little rubbery but it feels really good. It's it's, it's an old school feeling kind of shifter and um, it's kind of angled and it's just it's different it's unique it's definitely like the older stuff the old muscle cars but I haven't seen something like this in a modern car ever that I've ever reviewed and um, it's a really cool feeling um, the clutch pedal too is a little on the heavy side but it's a nice and short throw so you don't have to really put your full leg into it it's just a little push and that's all you need to shift the gears and uh, that's great uh, and uh, otherwise you know it's just it's driving a Hellcat it's never a bad thing whether it is the automatic or the manual uh, you know it's uh, unfortunately a rainy day so I won't be able to go as uh, berserk as I did in the Hellcat review video but uh, just wanted to give you guys a little uh, taste of what it's like here with a manual and for 2016 now for 2016 they increased the price slightly but they've also given you a lot more standard equipment than they have before in the past uh, so now these super nice leather seats now come standard and along with uh, some additional goodies here and there and so you actually end up getting more for your money than you did last year and it comes in plum crazy purple as an option uh, this year if you want which alone is like the best improvement for 2016 in my opinion a plum crazy purple Hellcat sounds pretty sweet to me all right so the road's extremely slick here uh, but I'm just gonna roll into third get that great supercharger line that awesome V8 burble as well and overall just uh, it's such a great feeling and um, you know it's obviously less practical than the Charger Hellcat so if you like four doors and a roomy backseat that's the one to get but this is still a great thing to drive I just love the Challenger's looks and uh, I love the old-school proportions and the fact that they stay true to the actual old retro style and they haven't tried to modernize it uh, I really you know I take my hat off to them for the dedication to the old-school look and uh, it's just I love the way they look and uh, you know the amazing thing about the Hellcats is yes it's 700 horsepower but this clutch isn't like a heavy stage 3 clutch like you normally need with a 700 horsepower car it feels like a clutch you'd get in a Mustang GT or you know a regular Charger or Challenger RT something like that and so you know it's really impressive how comfortable and easy they've made it to drive a 707 horsepower car and uh, that alone is just a massive feat but it's a it's you know really nice car and you this actually now whenever I reviewed the uh, Hellcat before that was uh, in the middle of Ohio and there weren't really any corners to test it on we have plenty of corners here along this little driving route and so uh, that'll give us a good taste for uh, how this car actually handles now of course in my Hellcat review I said 707 horsepower that makes up for anything about the car you don't like if there's anything you can critique you don't have to because it's got 707 horsepower for you know 60,000 bucks roughly you can't complain at that price you cannot complain about anything and uh, not that you need to anyway though I mean the interior like I mentioned before is super nice very uh, luxurious for the most part I mean yeah you got you know some plastics and things but uh, you know you can't expect everyone to be wrapped in leather whenever you have this amazing engine and have a very nice interior these seats are super comfortable very nicely well bolstered the steering wheel feels super good in your hands awesome 9 and 3 grip uh, you know just a really great wheel overall and you have the navigation you got this uh, you know good uh, 8.4 inch you can have touch screen and uh, you know it's just a great thing if you want to daily drive it I mean it's super comfortable these roads here are pretty soft uh, you know and uh, not too rough or anything like that but you know you can definitely tell that this car is set up to be a grand tour for sure it doesn't beat you up and that's very much appreciated oh yeah this manual I see some people told me that the manual in this car that the clutch was pretty heavy the clutch does not feel heavy to me maybe I'm used to heavy clutches because my Mustang has a fairly heavy clutch but uh, this does not feel bad at all I think even sitting in traffic this wouldn't be the end of the world uh, it's really not that bad yeah on these corners here I mean obviously I'm not going very fast because it's very slippery out here it's only 52 degrees plus uh, you know got a lot of power and stuff so just you know gingerly driving through these corners here though 
I gotta say, it's really sharp a turn in. Uh, that's the same for the Charger Hellcat that I also just drove today. Um, it, the steering feels really good and it does handle really well, you know. And I didn't really have a chance to sample the handling too much uh, whenever I reviewed the one because I reviewed in Ohio whenever I did the Hellcat review. This now on corners, it's so flat. And, um, you know, I mean, I'm not going fast enough to really feel any body roll or, you know, any weight moving around really, but it's, it's really, it handles itself pretty well, I gotta say. And I mean, I reviewed, the only older Challenger that I reviewed was a 2010 V6 and that, uh, you know, had more body roll. It's definitely not as sharp. This, it's really, really super sharp. I mean, it's also, it's an SRT product, so they've refined that and things, but still, uh, really a good handling car. Uh, I don't think you should shy away from a back road just because it's a Challenger. It's still, it does so well on the back roads here and uh, it's still a ton of fun. And that's the bottom line of a Hellcat is I don't know if you can have more fun for $60,000. I really don't think you can because it's just, I mean, at that price point, you can't buy anything else new with remotely close to the same amount of horsepower uh, and still have good looks, good handling. Um, it's just got it all. It's comfortable. It's not like you're just driving some bare bones thing with a big engine in the front. It's super lavish in here and I couldn't ask for a really better interior. It's, uh, <laughs> it's really impressive. And this road's pretty bumpy now here too. And I mean, it's just amazing just how comfortable, especially with the suspension and the street mode here. It's just very, uh, very soft and uh, in a good way. It's so luxuriously comfortable. Honestly, this is softer and more comfortable than a lot of BMWs I've reviewed. It's really that good. Uh, it's just a shame that it's wet, but here, I'll do another little pull. This is third gear. fun. Wish I could do more, but <laughs> that's all the conditions will allow for safely. So, uh, all right. So hopefully you guys like this little quick drive video. Be sure to let me know in the comments, which Hellcat you would pick the manual or the automatic that I reviewed. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Take care.